Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness, and patience. Kind words, pleasant looks, a cheerful countenance, throw a charm around the Christian that makes his influence almost irresistible. This is a way to gain respect, and extend the sphere of usefulness, which costs but little. It is the religion of Christ in the heart that causes the words issuing therefrom to be gentle and the demeanor condescending, even to those in the humblest walks of life. A blustering, fault-finding, overbearing man is not a Christian, for to be a Christian is to be Christ-like. He who drinks in the Spirit of Christ will let it flow forth in kind words, and be expressed in courteous deportment. The plan of salvation is to soften whatever is harsh and rough in the temper, and to smooth off whatever is rugged or sharp in the manners. External change will testify of an internal change. The truth is the sanctifier, the refiner. Received into the heart, it works with hidden power. Transforming the receiver. But those who profess the truth and at the same time are rough, and sour, and unkind in words and deportment, have not learned of Jesus, all these manifestations show that they are yet servants of the wicked one. No man can be a Christian without having the Spirit of Christ, manifesting meekness, gentleness, and refinement of manners. Pleasant, kind, and well-bred Christians will have an influence for God and His truth, it cannot be otherwise. The light borrowed from heaven will shed its brightening rays through them to the pathway of others. The words we speak, our daily deportment, are the fruit growing upon the tree. If the fruit is sour and unpalatable, the rootlets of that tree are not drawing nourishment from a pure source. If our affections are brought into harmony with our Savior, if our characters are meek and lowly, we evidence that our life is hid with Christ in God, and we shall leave behind us a bright track. Beholders will discern that we have been with Jesus and learned of Him.